Good morning and welcome to June. It is the first of June, the month, the sixth month of the year. We're almost at the halfway mark. Can you believe it? 2023 is going by so swiftly, but we continue to give God thanks and praise for bringing us this far and we continue to look to him to give us the grace and the strength and all that we need to continue throughout this year and the rest of our lives. Uh, today, we're going to continue in Psalms 119, and I'm probably going to stay there for the rest of the week, just looking at these scriptures and pulling out some things that we can talk to God about. How can a young man stay pure? By obeying your word. I have tried hard to find you. Don't let me wander from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. I praise you, O Lord. Teach me your decrees. I have recited aloud all the regulations you have given us. I have rejoiced in your laws as much as in riches. I will study your commandments and reflect on your ways, I will delight in your decrees and not forget your word. Now, what can we pull out from here? And I like this verse, verse nine. How can a young man, how can a young person stay pure? And the answer is by obeying God's word because God's word is pure okay and when we obey it we will be pure that's something that we can pray and ask God for to keep us pure and then the other verse that I will pull out from here is verse 11 I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you so we can pray and we can ask God Father God in the name of Jesus purify our lives by your word help us to study your word help us to hide your word in our hearts help us to meditate on your word each and every day every second of every day help us to acknowledge your word and live your word so that we would be pure so that our lives will be acceptable to you help us father god that we would not wander away from your commandments help us father god in the name of jesus that we would recite aloud your regulations and that we would follow them Help us, oh God, to rejoice in your word and in your law as much as others may rejoice in riches or as much as we ourselves may rejoice in riches. Help us, oh God, to rejoice even more in your word, recognizing that your word takes preeminence in our lives, that your word is more important to us. Help us to study your commandments and to reflect upon all your ways. Father God, help us as we declare, we decree that we will delight in your word and not forget it. Help us by your spirit that we will be able to honor this confession. In Jesus' name, amen. May June be as successful and even more successful and productive as January, February, March, April, and May. May God continue to bless you and keep you and cause his face to shine upon you and grant you tremendous grace and peace in all of your ways and in every circumstance as you go through this new month. Have a wonderful and a productive and successful day.